Why is it that the Akalis and the BJP, despite party okay. leaders on both sides saying they wanted an alliance, why is it that they couldn't come together and forge an alliance this time round? Rahul, you are right. We, we wanted to come together. There were a couple of rounds of talks. But unfortunately, they did not fructify because Akali Dal had put forward certain demands which are really the aspirations of the farmers and the Punjabis. And uh, unfortunately, the BJP could not meet them. Hence, now you see that we will fight separately. No, but can you explain what is it specifically that went wrong? Was it a problem about who gets how many seats? What was the well, issue? Look, I think that was incidental. The main issue was that why did we split in the first place? We were the oldest allies of BJP, but we separated on the issue of the farmers. You would recall when the farmers were agitating for over seven months. That is the time we decided to separate from the BJP. At that time, after seven months and almost 650 deaths later, the Prime Minister came on national television asked the farmers to go back and assured them that talks would be held and a solution will be found to their demands. Unfortunately, in the last two to three years, nothing has been done and the farmers are again on the road. Now, we are a farmer's party. 95% of our cadre are farmers. Our leadership is all, are all farmers. Now, how can we justify coalescing with a party which has not paid heed to the farmer's demands even after giving them assurances. So that is the crux of the problem. You know, I'm also looking at this statement that's been put out by the Akalis after it was made clear that there'll be no truck with the BJP in this election, which talks a lot about, uh, you know, people who've been convicted on various cases actually being freed. Uh, the release of Bandi Singhs who've completed their term that this is a promise that's been made. And if you go down the list of people who are being asked to be freed, it seems that the Akali Dal is pivoting once again to hardcore Panthic politics. Is that how you hope to find your identity again now that you're not in alliance with the BJP? Rahul, we believe that the laws of the land should be applied to everybody equitably. You cannot differentiate. We have certain laws. There are people who have, who have finished their terms. There are people who were convicted for 18 years. They've been languishing in jails for over 30 years. Now, the, this is a demand of all Punjabis, and especially the, 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 the party that represents them, that those who have finished their terms, you let them free. You've done it in other parts of the country. Even, even Rajiv Gandhi's killers have been released. Why are you not or in a way singling out one community and the community feels very hurt and assurances were given to this community time and again but those assurances have not been kept but this also is a very dangerous game to play because people who've been convicted of murder people who've been convicted of terrorism if the akali start waving their flags then in rural punjab uh, which is always a hot spot for all kinds of activities as we've seen in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, that, is a, that is a fire that can explode if uh, the Akalis go down this route. We are not going down any route. All we are saying is the laws of the country are same for every community and every state. Those who have completed their terms, who have, in fact, there were people who were convicted for 18 years or life imprisonment have spent over 35 years. Others have been given, as I said, even Rajiv Gandhi's killers have been let free now. Paroles have been given. In this case, no parole is given. We are not saying that the killers uh, uh, that you killed today and tomorrow you should be released. Yes, we respect the laws of the nation. But at the same time, the laws must be uniformly implemented in this country and not one community should not be seen as victims of those laws.